Well, good evening. I think it's going to work tonight. Been having a few problems, but here we go. Here we are. All souls. Let's come before the Lord. And as we do, let us invite the presence of God into our thoughts, minds, hearts. Lord, bring us your peace at the end of this day. Be with us, strengthen us, bring us your stillness and your quiet. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. As we reflect on the day now closed, we say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought word and deed and in what we have failed to do forgive us our sins heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in christ amen O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 143 Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight no one living shall be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past, I muse upon all your deeds, I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, my soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me, my spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way that I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. Truly, I am your servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. 
Matthew 24 verses 13 and 14. The one who endures to the end will be saved and this good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the world as a testimony to all the nations. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. O King most blessed, on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations <coughs> and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. O King most blessed on the day of judgment. Number us among your chosen. Lord, as we come to the end of our day, on this All Souls night, we think of those who we have known, who we have seen, who we have loved with those we have shared life, love and brought life into the world with. We thank you that though we live and then die, that resurrection, eternal life is ours and those we love. Father, we wait for that day when the Christ returns and the dead shall be raised and we shall be one. So, Father, we thank you this night for the people we have seen this day, the people who have touched our lives or whose lives we have touched, for those we have blessed and those who have blessed us. Father God, we thank you. We bless you that you know us. Before we were, you knew us. And now, as we go through this life, we think of those who, having gone, know you still, you know them still. Whether, as the words of Psalm 139 tell us so wonderfully, whether we go to the heights or the depths, you were there. We go to the darkest places, you are there, and darkness is as light to you. As we go down to the grave, even there you know us. Father God, bring us to a place of peace this night. Bring us to a place where we can reside in the memories of those we love, those we see no longer. Bring us your peace, your comfort and your strength. We pray that for all people this night. That your hand would be upon our lives as your hand is upon theirs. And Lord, as your word tells us, whether we wake or sleep tomorrow, we are yours. We reside in the palm of your hand. So, Lord, we thank you for all creation. We thank you that the day will come and we will rejoice. 
we gather up our memories of this day and of this life thus far. Gather up the pain, Lord, and bring us comfort. Gather up the confusion and give us reason and understanding. Father God, we praise you for everything you are in our lives this night. We thank you for the blessings given and received, for the ability to make you known in all that we are. And Father God, we come before you now as we prepare for bed. And having come before you and confessed our failings, we pray for those who have failed, who have wounded us this day as we have wounded. So, Lord, we think of those who have gone. We think of us who remain. We ask that you would grant us with all the faithful departed the benefits of your Son's saving passion and his glorious resurrection. That in the last day when you gather up all things in Christ, Father God, we may with them enjoy the fullness of your promises. God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring us to the dwelling which your Son is preparing for all who love him, for all who love you. Give us the will each day to live in eternal life, that our citizenship be in heaven with the blessed, with the whole company of the redeemed, and we count this angels praising, worshipping and adoring your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who sits upon the throne for ever and ever. Amen. And with the words our Saviour gave us, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. May the light of Christ, the King of all, shine ever brighter in our hearts, that with all the saints in light we may shine forth as lights in the world. Amen. Thank you for being with us, guys. Sleep well. May you wake to a day of blessing and joy tomorrow. May your dreams, your thoughts, your awakening be sweet. Good night, guys. Bless you. Sleep well.